Jatnu itapa phone is here. In India, phone and it here. That's the sink. And no phone. Penu ringa kwa uri. Do sink. Pono daira. And you get yellow. Ya sink ak. And it yaku zoka kwantiri. Then in daku acknowledge. Taku tanga kutara. Pato ni communication. That's three way in tishiki yoyo. Of which is under TCP. Jatnu iti iri. Iri. Pani connection iripo. Of which go my computers in computers we have two different types. We have TCP and UDP. That is user data gram protocol. User data gram protocol differs from TCP in that um, you don't have to wait or to have that connection. You simply send. Let's say when you're at Zamba, when you're at Zamba, it will end somewhere else. And it, but I will not use address yako. When you are at some place, it change. Then the address will be changed. Do is an example of UDP. TCP, I think that uh, I've mentioned it about the call. So on our diagram, if you check, we have number one that is the client first sends a synchronization packet that is the sync. Then if the receiver accepts. It responds with a synchronization acknowledgement that is the sync act. Then the client responds with acknowledgement, meaning to say we, we have established our um, communication connection. Sorry. Mm, for UDP, I'm just saying UDP. Why not? Because uh, our question requires us to add UDP, but I'm just saying UDP so that everyone understands uh, the difference between these two. Uh, for UDP, if you check, we still have systems that use UDP. That is DNS, it uses UDP. DHCP, it still uses UDP. Then TFTP still uses UDP. UDP. Then I'll go to um, the second part of our question that is the uh, four NMAP scanning types. We have TCP scan. A uh, TCP scan is accomplished with the full three way handshake, uh, like I mentioned above, uh, meaning that when we ask an uh, NMAP to execute a TCP scan on a port or on some target, we will send a synchronize, wait for the synac and send back this the, the acknowledgement. After this, it will tell us that the port is open or it's closed. For you to know that it's closed or it's open, let's say you open your, your CMD or your command prompt, you try to say something or to, to ping something, sorry. Let's say you ping, cut domain, but that domain is down. You see sometimes it says uh, destination unreachable, meaning to say that port is closed. But if it's open, you see um, time to leave it. Let me just practice, uh, uh, demonstrate on this one for everyone to understand it better. Can you see my screen now? Hello? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. 
whatever now. Yeah, we can see it now. Okay. Let's say we ping DNS server, if that is for Google. As you can see, um, the DNS, the, the, the ports are open, why we can connect to it directly. But if it's not open, yeah, it says the destination is not, not reachable. Let me just try something that won't be reachable. Let me just try our website and see if it's, it says how. Oh. I don't know what's happening with our card website. Mm. You see, I can't ping a uh, card website. I don't know by for other reasons. I can't ping it. But that's what I'm trying to say. If you want to check if it's a, a port is open, you it it should return. Yeah, like the time to leave, it's it's up. But if it's down. You don't see anything that's like our card website but if you go directly using the the domain name you can access it i'm not so sure why i can't ping it right away okay anyway sorry let me just go back to our presentation then we have another um, type that is scene scan the scene scan is a is popular is in 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 types of scanning. This is because it, this comes from the fact that it doesn't complete the three-way handshake. It only goes through the two steps of handshake. First, sending this the scene packet, waiting for the scene arc packet. After this, instead of sending an arc packet, it sends a reset packet, which tells the target to disregard any previous packets and close the connection between the two machines. I'm sure it's self-explanatory on this one. So I will go on another one that is UTP scan. I'm sure on this one we have exhausted it since someone presented something similar to this. Um, for UTP scan, I'm sure the previous presenter mentioned something about a flooding, UTP flood. That's just the same. Yeah, I can say it again on UDP, we it's connectionless. So let me just explain here. UDP scan I used to check whether there is UDP port up and listening for incoming request or the target machine. Unlike TCP, UDP has no mechanism to respond with a positive acknowledgement. So there is always a chance for a false positive in the scan results. It, the reason is, since we are saying it, it's uh, it's connectionless, we, we just send, just like a TV, they just broadcast on TV. They don't even care if you are watching it correctly or something else. That's why you see UDP is used for videos and pictures. Sorry, for, um, for videos uh, uh, and for DHCP. We, they use UTP just because there's no need for, for them to to know if you are receiving the whole packet at once. You can receive it in pieces. The thing is you find that sometimes when you are buffering, your video will come in pieces. It's, it's UTP they use there. Then the last one that is RPC, that is Remote Procedure Call Services. The RPC scans are used to discover machines that respond to remote procedure call services. RPC allows commands to be run on a certain machine remotely under a certain set of conditions. Um, for those who understand networking better, uh, when we are talking about the remote procedures call, we are talking about telnetting. Let's say you want to connect to your server at work, but you're at home. 
you simply turn at it, then you can access your server. Yeah, so for this, they use our PC scan. So I'm not so sure if you have any questions or any additions to, to add on this. Hello. Yes. Anyone to add or to subtract or I use a, a native language where someone else cannot understand. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation, sir. Anyone with the, something to contribute, to add or to subtract? And the document has been already shared in group the discussions. So, Shagana Kachaisu can have a one drum card. In fact, Mufanato one drum can have a snow kund card. Kutsi Nyatso Kunz with such a gashita or one, Mr. Saidi. Thank you, Mr. Johannes. Okay, thank you. Uh, may I kindly move on to the next presenters, Clement and Cliff? Cliff and Clement. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me just share my uh, screen. T and Morudo. Uh, confirm you are seeing my screen. Something is coming. Yes. Okay. Uh, you yeah, the the word document. Yeah, but token brawry in large in large media. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, we'll, we'll start by uh, just defining what the vulnerability assessment key. Then, as we go down, then we attack the question. So uh, by vulnerability assessment, this is just a systematic review of uh, security weakness in information system. Uh, by vulnerability assessment, I will be evaluating the, if the system is susceptible to non-vulnerability, uh, signs severity levels to those vulnerabilities, then recommends the remediation or mitigation if and whenever is needed. Uh, the examples of the threats uh, that can be prevent prevented that uh, near SQL injection, then XSS, then uh, other code injection attacks. Escalation of privileges due to faulty authentication mechanisms, insecure defaults, uh, that is software that ships with insecure settings, such as uh, guessable admin password. Uh, so, uh, several types of uh, vulnerability assessments, delay, worst assessments, uh, network and wireless assessment, database assessment, uh, then application scan. For worst assessments, uh, this is just the assessment of critical servers which may be vulnerable to attacks if not adequately tested or not generated from a uh, tested mach machine image. Then for network and wireless, uh, this is just the assessment of policies and practices to prevent unauthorized access to private or public networks 
and network accessible resources. Then database assessment, of course, yes, uh, the databases or big data systems for vulnerabilities and misconfigs. Uh, then identifying rogue databases or insecure development or test environment and classifying sensitive data across an organization's infrastructure. Then from application scans uh, to identify um, uh, security vulnerabilities in web apps and the uh, source code by automated scans on the front end or static or dynamic analysis of source code. So for the part of uh, effect for the question, to tell us the vulnerability assessment, then uh, vulnerability assessment security scanning process. This process, you know, consists of four steps, that is testing, analysis, assessment, and uh, remediation, that is the mitigation measures. So today, diagram, maybe the remote steps are to tangle up vulnerability identification, then trained up analysis, then risk assessment, then uh, remediation or my mitigation measures are shown. Then after that, tag zokera footy could not identify uh, my vulnerabilities at your system. And the cycle goes on. So for uh, vulnerability identification or testing, the main objective is to get my applications vulnerabilities. So the the security analysts want to, want to test uh, the security out of applications uh, servers or other systems by scanning them with automated tools or testing and evaluating them manually. Uh, these analysts also rely on uh, vulnerability databases, vendor vulnerability announcements, asset management systems, and threat intelligence fields to identify my security weaknesses. Then, Tavai Papo, Tavenda Pa, vulnerability analysis. That's the second step. Uh, the objective, they will identify the source and root cause of these vulnerabilities, identified by our first step. Uh, you know, uh, it will involve uh, the identification of system components as possible for each vulnerability and the root cause of vulnerability. For example, root cause of a vulnerability could be an old version of an open source li library. Uh, this provides a clear path for remediation that is upgrading the library. Then the third step is risk assessment. Uh, the objective is prioritizing of vulnerabilities. Uh, it involves security analysts assigning a rank of severity score to each vulnerability based on these factors, uh, which are which systems are affected, what data is at risk, which business functions are at risk, ease of attack or compromise, uh, severity of the attack. Then lastly, the potential damage as a result of the vulnerability. Then the, our last step is uh, remediation or our, um, our mitigation measures. The objective is simply just closing of the security gaps. It's typically a joint effort by security staff, development, operations teams would determine the most effect, effective path of for remediation or mitigation of each vulnerability. Uh, the steps of these uh, mitigation measures might include introduction of new security procedures, measures or tools, updating of operational config changes, and uh, development and implementation of uh, vulnerability patch. So, uh, like, like pata pata ora pa 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 diagram we look the three these steps and then to talk about vulnerability identification, data analysis, then risk assessment, then remediation, then this arrow 
irukudzoka futi ku vulnerable breach identification this is simply because kuti it's not a once off process because the vulnerabilities are tawana nasi tino tino gona kumait and to analyze to the risk assessment then to identify ma mitigation ma mitigation measures are shown and but uh, due to a lot of factors maybe for uh, maybe token of my system updates or something like that mangwana tino gona kwana other vulnerabilities foot per system yet so it's an ongoing process so uh, this is what we are just saying but 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 vulnerability assessment cannot be one of activity to be effective organizations must operationalize this process and repeat it reg- at regular intervals it's also critical to foster cooperation between security operation and development teams a process known as div sec ops ingori definition ye uh, development teams uh, security teams ne operation teams then uh, lastly uh vulnerability assessment tools are designed to automatically scan for new and existing threats that can target your application types of tools include web application scanners that test for and simulate known attack patterns protocol scanners that search for vulnerable, vulnerable protocols ports and network services network scanners that help visualize network and discover warning signals like stray ip addresses spooked packets and suspicious packets generation from a single ip address uh it is a big process to schedule regular automated scans of all critical IT, IT systems the results of these scans should feed into the organization's ongoing vulnerability assessment process so that's basically the vulnerability assessment security scanning process Yes, yeah, nice. Right. Mashkapa Mapetope, Shamakam Chideku, present. Data Shigapa Mapetu. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. 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 Yes. Kuruku maso wetu nga deta kumboti sari rui. Okay, it's fine. So we can move on to the next presenters. Right. Ndika... Bozi, nda nduko na nda sari kwa nea nge four ma presentations. Tinegeta almost 16 questions. Uh, the list ready. Tati da nguva varra kuti kapera ndo kuti tinya tunzoti. Shanyata kuita nditi. Kitra mangwana kubasa. Asi tuno inda shedu kubasa tunduwari. Regai tipe mukana unu ikuna enjo na panaishe. Enji, how are you? Yes, well. Uh, in a, I'm still working on 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 our document i i'm one also you are kindly yes. asking us to 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 give you the chance to tomorrow please okay permission granted thank you uh mr well yes uh 
information overload um, uh, these presentations were just running through. Yeah. But uh, probably maybe tonight and maybe some part of tomorrow. Uh-huh. So um, uh, the presentations that have been shared and uh-huh. then maybe probably tomorrow and at the so we can then start by asking questions, then we move on. Boza information overload in one. Okay, thank you very much, brother Cliff, for the uh, for the suggestion. But what I was thinking, since Tasar Wane matter to check my questions, and it was the total the energy, the whole documentary king in 32 questions. Saka um, it was my wish could at least. Tikadoni is a seventeen nurse. Mangwana, Mark Batan is a very one square combo, one square of a chili, but she try to consolidate as she reposed at a canam group. And then we continue as you are saying, Kuti, but one also wearing our chona panim foods. So, may I kindly call upon the last two presenters to Vashaduta Tapak? If it if it is okay with the with the everyone else, I'm not uh, being autocratic. Hello. Are we still together? I think, well, I think it's a good idea because also looking at the time that we are left with, we are left with one and a half weeks, so we don't have much time. And did so, Yeah, because also those, the, those um, questions, maybe there are some other aspects that we also need to do, especially maybe looking at ethical hacking. We've got those topics that we were given as um, exam, typical exam questions as well. So, yeah, so I think if you my presentation, we... Uh, Takasanya Tokunge, Tabata Pau Park Prison Davan, Pacha Kunkatinet, what that document Rene up a volunteer could actually summarize then Matachari consolidator. I think it's no beneficial, and so that she to know so allocate a uh, embo time to Nana Econometrics, Nana Big Data. So may I kindly go upon uh, Ishmael naive. Then Leslie na wesa. Tumfata ita kutuwa nwa wani kusorora. Then Jim Ross na nati. Ndoso kumbiro musa nuku ngu kanda. Shwa manga mcha sopuri senda pae. Mkurupu kutu shwa nuku ngu bata nizo. Then he will give you the time to present. Okay, thank you, Wally. I'm going to be very quick. Um, we asked you to explain the firewall design principles that should be considered when designing one and also to compare and contrast any three types of firewalls. The reason why I need to be a little bit fast is because we don't want people to be very tired. But uh, the document that I am going to share or that I already shared with the rapporteurs is the, the first definition of what a firewall is. But you realize in most texts, they normally give a diagram that looks like this. But ideally, a firewall stands as a security layer or security tool, which actually monitors uh, the incoming as well as the outgoing traffic. And the idea is to detect and also to block malicious data packets and it is based on certain rules that are actually predefined then you will be allowing what you may call legitimate traffic to enter your network so from the diagram we've got the land side which is the network that is private to us or that is ours the internal one and then the one side is the... indirect yes uh, someone is 
is kindly asking you to enlarge your, your presentation. Thank you. Okay, so I was just describing the first part here. So the idea is just to allow what you call the legitimate traffic or the traffic that you want. So from here to here, it's all trying to say the same thing with regards to allowing and disallowing traffic based on rules. And from this point, we're saying the firewall can actually be something that is physical it can be a hardware it can be a router or any other gadget that you put that you set the rules on it's a physical gadget but sometimes it can also be a software that can be installed and then the control list or access control list are actually defined there so the first part is trying to define that and then here i included the techniques for the control of the firewalls just for information that not really responding to the question but ideally the techniques that are there there is the service control which determines the types of services that can be accessed inbound or outbound then the direction control the firewall is set such that it either allows certain incoming traffic but does not allow outgoing or both ways. So it's all about controlling. You may control the income or the outgoing or both. Then there's the user control access where a service is actually designed in which we are designing on people who are attempting to access certain services. Then behavior control. This one I said is not part of the question. Now going to the question. The design principles. Ideally, when you are designing a firewall, all traffic from inside to outside must pass through the firewall. So if you are designing it, you should not have certain traffic that is bypassing the, the firewall. Should you want to really design a firewall? So all the traffic should actually pass through the firewall. And then this is achieved by physically blocking all the access to the local network except through the firewall only. Then the second design principle is only traffic which is authorized will be allowed to pass. So the one that is not authorized is not allowed to pass. And then three, the firewall itself should be immune to penetration so what it means ideally we are saying we are putting a security measure but as long as it is not immune to penetration then we have an issue so the file itself should be immune to penetration so these are the three design principles that we have and then the other part of the question was talking about the types of files there are really many of them depending on how a person wants to classify them. But the common ones are actually four or more. We have got packet filters. And, but the question asks us to contrast. So for each one, if you look at the document, I was trying to put it, Okay, this one works at a certain layer, which one, like the packet one, works in the network layer of the OSI model. And then the application gateway works as a proxy firewall. This one also acts on a different level. The second level gateway also acts, works at a session level. So the difference is that the other, they have got different levels that they work at. And then the other different comes in the operation. Like the other one allows traffic to go in either way in both directions something like that so i decided to put each type of a file a description and also included some advantages and disadvantages and then at the end i tried to tabulate all the firewalls looking at the first part of where it operates 
how it operates comparing with the other one, also the advantages and also some weaknesses. For example, the packet filtering firewalls, whilst they are fast, cheap and effective, but the security they provide is very basic because these files now do not examine the content of the data so which means they've got a weakness and i also did to the other ones so i don't want to waste much of the time because i tried to make it really understandable from the document so once you get the document i think you will be able to go through and as has been suggested should you have any questions, you bring it in the next session. Thank you, Eli. Uh, thank you, uh, Mkoma Ishu, with the precise presentation. Uh, we, are, we are looking forward to, 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 to the document, Ramchashia Mumu Group. Right, our last presenters, the the Leslie na Wesa, then Jim Ross na Ana, Ruvimbo na T. Mo Susano Kukanda, my presentations in my group. Again, Dana na in Kana Apeza Mangbana, whatever times an inga Apeza during the day. She can also forward the presentation in the group so that your son could consolidate one. Uh, should we get the time? Shava Pamkano, Kungoti, Kurukure Pam Sorupash, Maringene Kona Trakamira say. Over to you, uh, Leslie and Wesa. Well, yes. Lesa Ripera, Pam Smondina needed my questions the true one day. No fact. Oh, on that sorry, sorry, say, and that's not that I know Wesa and Jimmy, Mr. Ngon. And again, Dean, I'm so busy. I'm going to go away. It's a kind of thing I'm going. No, but it's very much that trendy. Please end up. I'm going. I want to. Ah, can I miss you? Go and bring me away, Saka. Miss you, Apo. Ah, to no, 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 uh, uh, program ya mangbana, I hope uh, it communicate kwa through the necessary channels in group medu. But kindly note that our document drama question being equal ethical hacking, we've got 32 questions, which means to say, Wanonzi wanyasha zichiva sunda. Wano kuna kusana kugarabatora mamwe ema kwezi nza wangada kuti wa prizende. Kana wano wasina kusundwa ninyasha wacha sundwa. E, ninyasha kubulikiza ni mumu. Ah, wengi nza. Mete tutu kwezi nzi. Kuinda kwa wana 16 jete wani. Maka wana 16 mkoma. Iwa mawajo 16 nari. Uh, Tanasia joku mendrenyusha. Kana kana kana. Let me share the, the screen so that kana disina kungenda resha kuona muno zvandiri kuona right a uh, zvifusto kuti zvimuka zverenga no buditsa 32 ya salapano arundi wenga arundi pazaka short <laughs> okay a uh, but ndora kashe wana nedzi mugroup zvekuti <laughs> If you re-download, you, you, you can actually see the, the, the actual number of questions. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We can call it a night. Thank you. I would be happy if you say thank you, Dr. Welly. Thank you, Dr. Welly. Ah, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Zara, my wife is doing some Zara smart and good transition. I'm going to teach him, but I'm going to teach him, but I'm going to say my sweet and young Dori, my good one, the doctor, not my good one. Is ya? Because that's what 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 that
Yeah, I Thank you, know. Miss. Uh, you're welcome, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Ndino kupesira kubuda muno. Ah, okay, okay. Wamwarku is wamwarku zani koko. Ah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Omari tam tanga economics is. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Takuro economics. I am going to go down to four JJ. Ah, dem kumbi o yango fura mari ngati bati re. Ovo sara, zvakuto tumaka taiti. Zino ma doctor kana ma kuchie ma kuda iso iso to zoita si. Ah, no na ma bugu yataka tanga kar. Kuba akati misati yava kama building. Tichiru kwe ringera paspe pe mu miti ai wa poso. Pande zimwe zidogu zaigara. Zita wala hii nya hii wipakati. Nanzi pakati panava. Tatanga kupaveli ngele chiri teacher's college. Tichi wata kasuko mtu uyo. Hava darana gati niye pa. Adid. Anzi location ni chingwa mko distri mchito. Saka taisi wala kama kwa mtu pa ba anza. I still remember ndana hii wali mwe. Ni mwe day before exam. Really search. Atakai rova shakada. Kapo nda ita masters yangu. Wene was a teacher. Hati wene was a teacher in Mangura. Hati na angel 3101. Amoti ndi hipi ya ruta wale. 3101. And squeeze. Saka mangwana matitukiti. Tungo ita vuti data analytics. Ay. Nandi chita taite. I think ye kinka tofana kudzipusha mangwana so that makwesinza chano wa almost kupera ndite. Or I think another strategy ya togo na kusha ndisa since the certain time show. Pato pana na makwesinzi kuma mojusa kaita se ye king ne big data. Pano anungo ti awana sha a research andika we forward mkrupo. Po gazi kwa chi document. Sheshe, sheshe, last semester, shaka nga shaka kubudama last days, sheshe, shaka summarized. So that kana tighter meeting, tita kungo nanga pa ma burning issues pa ni ma questions. Yeah. Because time mdo takarowa pasi. Nukwa na soti this time takanunu kaku kutanga. Ah, takanunu kesa, pa takafara. An maona manji. Apa, pa na chatu kusi, ya mdo paru kune ete ma. Ina ndi bude muno wakumana msante ite. Oh, enji angari kutikuwa nzi 3101. Oh, ok, kuna iko skod. Mbati nongo na ngostika pana boro wani ka. Nengwe muna katura ala sakipa lipto boon. Eh, no time bika yo. Ina ndi bude pa anu. I have experienced it mu... Mu, 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 ne ma, mu, ma, 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 circumstances. Tichiro ma group assignments. You would actually think you could muchiri meseka. Mu na kuto zifambira kara kangolo kane shinje. Hehehe. Pasaid beti bima kai do nuke ni jidu wa mangwada. Ama na metire ni nda kuma wano ndewa na wakato tola ma lifi kubasa. Nga ndi gandi uye nde zwangwe. Asha, isi wangwe tu kushandra kumba ka isi saka zwa hapo fanana. Aaaa, batu nongo munga kwa chiso shanda. Sio shasu siyana ma. Awe weki nfumu. Uwe laka tola ni bini kutara. Yato ni lifi ndu kuma wana zwa. Ah, ndara ni kwa ngundo regezi kwa last Friday ndi chinda kusama mande. Ndato shujaira, last semester ndo shuma kaita. Ndato ni njwarenzi. Ah, buwa manatuba chana mangwane. Ilipo, Mr. Moyo, how are you? Mr. Kuda kwa Shimoyo, how are you? Anda huza nusara wiki. Atati.
da kuwa pas mukur mosara bo aga nindo ndo loka masi tu mbora tu wagua irbo irbo rolinga mungwa nit Thank you. 